Hi, can I ask you guys how the trip was? We're live right now on casting it, by the way. <laughs> it was amazing. It was what? perfect. The views were awesome. Fantastic. Way in. Fires. You see any cool fire stuff coming down? Um, there's a little bit of smoke, but yeah. uh, not too much. We saw one wildfire. And, and you're here for the weekend, or how long? Yeah, until Monday. Oh, so you're having a great uh, time. And first flight, that's special? Yeah, that's, yeah it was awesome. Are you guys Absolutely. celebrating it was amazing. anything? We got a little honeymoon going on. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just a little weekend away in Kelowna. What are your names, sorry? Danielle. Danielle, and you? Phil. And it was a cool ride? Absolutely. It was, yeah. it was unbelievable. Everyone should do it. Thank you for taking the time to <laughs> chat with me. Enjoy your uh, stay in Kelowna. Thank you. I'm Rob Gibson reporting live from the El Dorado Hotel, the site of the first ever Harbor Air flight uh, direct from Vancouver to Kelowna. The uh, passengers have just arrived and touched down safely. Everything uh, seems to be going just as planned. The uh, Kelowna group will be departing here at around 12.15. We'll uh, speak to some of those individuals and chat with some of the other uh, people who are involved in making this uh, special day happen here at uh, the Hotel El Dorado. And uh, again, I'm Rob Gibson reporting live from the uh, site of the first ever Harbor Air flight uh, into direct from Vancouver into Kelowna. El Dorado, the scene of the first ever flight direct from Vancouver to Kelowna on Harbor Air. The flight arrived on time, just as scheduled, and touched down safely. The passengers have now departed. You can see the crews right now, the pilot, uh, preparing the aircraft for its return journey back to Vancouver. They may have to reposition this airplane. I'll be uh, getting an interview with the uh, pilot in a while, as soon as he's uh, finished uh, his assessment of what he needs to do with his crew and uh, we'll be talking with some of the Kelowna passengers who are getting ready to depart. Uh, everybody seems uh, thrilled with the idea that uh, they're part of a first ever uh, type of a journey. Uh, we'll be chatting with some of those individuals uh, as the day uh, and this uh, story evolves. Again, we are live at the scene of the uh, first ever flight of Harbor Air direct from Vancouver into Kelowna at the Hotel El Dorado. I'm Rob Gibson reporting live from the El Dorado Hotel, the scene of the first ever inaugural flight of uh, Harbor Air. I'm now joined by uh, uh, Mark Jeans, the uh, GM here. A special day, extra nice when it works out just as you planned and on time. 
And on time, actually, uh, under time, 57 minutes from uh, downtown Vancouver to uh, the Eldorado Resort. So can't beat that. Is this logistically lots of boats, everything else around? How tough is it to get in and out of here? Uh, no, actually really straightforward. You know, we did all our um, sort of due diligence with Transport Canada and make sure that keeping everybody safe, you know, we have all the protocols in place. So, um, and on a day like today, obviously pretty calm. So really nice. Yeah, it was a, it was a pretty flawless arrival for sure. And uh, you, you had quite a nice little reception area for everybody. Yeah. Everybody's getting champagne. Everyone wants to be part Why of a not? first, right? Why not? I mean, it's a little, definitely a little bit of a party. I mean, it's a first and, uh, and hopefully, uh, well, probably not the last in terms of, I think this is a great way for people to come to the Okanagan, um, you know, under an hour can't beat that and uh, yeah deserves a little bit of celebration it's nice to get over the coca-cola isn't it it is nice to go over the coca-cola yeah exactly yeah so as uh, the program rolls out you're going to add more flights and you're just going to see how popular this becomes is that fair yeah exactly so this is you know we're testing the waters in terms of uh, of kind of how this goes but we've already got like incredible interest and demand and so we're going to yeah if, if this uh, takes off as it were yeah. uh, we'll uh, we'll yeah we'll add more flights and we'll sort of extend well, the schedule uh, so I, yeah I have a lot of memories around your hotel we're, we're just the flight crews coming up here no come on up I want to chat with you I'm talking to the GM right now. I'm sorry, uh, what's your name? I'm Bert Wright. And are you the pilot? Yes, one of the pilots. I'm the chief pilot at, at Harbor. And tell me how the flight was. I'm told you were under time, which is nice. Yes, no, we were, uh, we were just a little bit under an hour. We were 0.8 uh, on the way here. Smooth flight. Not, uh, thankfully, the smoke's kept out of the way. Uh, no problems with your crew, I take it? No, no, it was a very smooth flight. To have good transition out of Vancouver. Um, you know, from downtown to downtown in a, in a 0.8 is a pretty convenient service. How does it, uh, you've done a lot of these, I assume, where does this one kind of fit in time-wise, ease, those kinds of things? Well, this was actually almost exactly the same time as it takes us for our uh, route to, to, to Fino. Okay. Uh, our, our route, and we do a, a couple of skid, uh, or daily skid flights into Tofino um, well, during the summer, seven days a week. Right on. And can you tell us a little bit about the plane? I don't know what, the, what that one looks like. So this is a, this is a 2006. 16, I believe, uh, Cessna Caravan. It's a brand new machine for us in the fleet. Uh, it's fully uh, instrument capable. So it's an all-weather aircraft that we are one of the first companies to be able to run these under instrument conditions um, off straight floats. I assume it's a great ride. Oh yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's a nice, for a float plane, it's pretty fast. It looks pretty comfortable. I mean, nice, those cushy seats in there. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll ask you both, what kind of comments were you getting from, from some of the people who took this flight? Uh, the biggest one is uh, how comfortable the seats are yeah. compared to the traditional float aircraft. And, uh, and the views, because obviously, obviously you're flying at a sort of lower elevation, so the views are just, especially on a day like today, just yeah. spectacular. So. And so we're turning around here at 12.15. Anything in particular you have to do in order to, I assume you're not bringing drinks and meals on or whatever, <laughs> are you? Not at this point, no, but yeah. uh, that, uh, that is uh, yeah. definitely an option on our chartered flights. How good is it to be kind of back in business, uh, not just, uh, you know, the hotel business, the flight business, everything's moving. It's nice to see the tourism industry start yeah. to pick up again. Feels really good. Uh, yeah. Really good. And, uh, and hopefully this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Yo. Oh, I think so. Yeah, right? you know, I think we're <laughs> yeah. uh, very happy. We're yeah. we've, uh, well, both of us and our family will have a long history with Kelowna, so it's really nice to be able to bring Harbor Air into this community. Well, that's fantastic. I'm happy to see that it worked out great. Uh, we are live. I'm Rob Gibson, uh, live reporting from the uh, Hotel El Dorado, the scene of the inaugural Harbor Air flight into awesome. the city, direct Vancouver. What did you say it was? 47 minutes? 47. That's pretty good. All right, guys, we're going to continue. We're going to, hope you don't mind, we're going to shoot a little bit of the action, and our, our uh, audience is very interested in this story. A lot of them really like planes. That's why I asked you some specifics, yeah. and everybody, of course, loves the L. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank We're going to keep uh, going live here and uh, show you some of the sights and sounds from the inaugural Harbor Air flight into uh, the Hotel El Dorado, direct from Vancouver to Kelowna. It took only 47 minutes. A fantastic flying time.
Hi, Corey. Do, do you have a second to chat with me? Uh, I just okay. giving you the warning. We're live. I'll just get you back here. I, this is kind of where my shot ends, Corey, if okay. you don't mind. So cool flight today. Things worked out really well for you. Do you mind just give me some of the details on the, the return flight? I was chatting with some of the guys. They say there's a limit of 25 pounds. Are there any other unique things about this type of a flight? Uh, nothing that, that would be unique compared to, you know, hopping on your jet going back to Vancouver, other than you don't have to deal with terminal and security. You just walk down to the plane, hop on, an hour, you're in Vancouver. So you're pretty used to this. You guys work at Harbor Air. You're always flying in and out of cool locations. Um, but for people who haven't taken a flight on Harbor Air, what, what are some of the other things that are really kind of different that you won't experience anywhere else unless you get maybe a private charter? Well, I, I think the, the number one thing that stands out is probably the view. Um, you know, we have nice big windows. Um, so, so, you know, seeing all the sights along the way to Vancouver, um, you know, I, I think that's probably the, the number one difference. Anything, uh, I, I know you're hoping for this to catch on. Do you have any plans uh, going forward on how things are, are going to work? Uh, I, I would say that, that uh, we're, we're just testing things out right now we're really hopeful that that uh, the traveling public does um, think this is going to be a, a great thing we we know it's going to be um, and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens for next year if if it's successful this year and the uh, feedback from some of the uh, the people on this flight was the the people I spoke to seemed really thrilled oh, what are you hearing yeah absolutely I, I think there's a lot of excitement and and uh, yeah hopefully that continues Corey do you have any connections to Kelowna uh, only vacation. Love to be here. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So are you going back on the flight at 12.15? Is that the idea? That's right. Yeah. Bert and I will be flying it on the way back. So that's typical, like a 45-minute turnaround for you guys? You don't have to gas up, anything like that? Yeah. This year we're taking return fuel, so we just uh, uh, stop in, quick turn, and we head on back to Vancouver. All right. Anything about the return flight that uh, you're expecting that will be different from the uh, flight here? Uh, we're hopefully the ride is as smooth as it was on the way here. Right. On. And then you're back next week. 
That's right. Well, right. actually, on Monday, yes. That's there right. you go. Well, yeah. well, thanks for taking the time to chat with me. Really appreciate it. Congratulations right. on, a, on a great first flight. Fantastic. Thank you, Corey. I'm Rob Gibson reporting live from the scene of the first ever Harbor Air flight direct from Vancouver to Kelowna right here at the Hotel El Dorado. I'm told the flight only took 47 minutes, which is which is quite remarkable considering how long it typically takes to go to the Cocoa. Yeah, you're on TV. You're live. That's cool. Everybody loves the Hotel El Dorado. Everybody's here for uh, uh, hopefully a, a nice vacation. And uh, the people that we've spoken to are just happy to be able to move around the province again. Again, I'm Rob Gibson reporting live from the the scene of the first ever Harbor Air flight from uh, Vancouver to Kelowna. We will uh, attempt to uh, hang in here for the 12:15 departure so that we can show you uh, the uh, departure of this Harbor Air flight as well.